Revival of Ancient Cults Nowadays, some people try to revive the ancient cult of their god. What happens in this case, the restoration of the cult is a gradual process, as it takes a very long time to re-establish the channel. The information about the channel is copied in the depths of the earth, at the level of Rhea, where all the information about everything that has ever happened on this planet, in all realms and realities, is stored. When the cult becomes widespread, when people start pouring energy into the dedicated channel as if into a bottomless barrel, in huge amounts, then the cult begins to revive. Once this energy reaches the consciousness of a god, who is in a kind of conserved, sleeping state, it creates a copy of itself, and believe me, the consciousness of a god is a program, it is a mind, and even though it is gigantic and global, it is not human, it is not alive, it is not a personality, it is a program, you have to realize that. The identification of God and man is fundamentally wrong, it leads us to misunderstanding. The copy of this program is stored on the level of Rhea, and she can give you that copy, but she won't give it away unless she really sees the cult spreading. In a sense, it is a very valuable material that needs to be stored and preserved. This has already happened in the past when this material wasn't saved. This copy contains all the most valuable information, and Rhea will only give it away if she is sure that it will be given rights, power, life and worship, that it will spread, have enough energy and be able to survive here, that it won't disappear with all the other ancient cults. For example, the runic tradition has been preserved, it has never been interrupted, so we can now study it as a complete magical tradition, without adding or changing anything, because this system is full and complete.